What we've done is we've been able to produce more sustainable precursors for things like plastics, fuels, and even things like detergents, and we're doing it from plants instead of doing it from less sustainable petroleum. We start with a non-edible plant, so something like wood, and we basically treat it um, to extract the various fractions of the plant. Most of the plant is actually made of these little chains of sugars. And it turns out there's this component in plants called lignin. And what's incredible is that lignin is the component that looks the most like petroleum to begin with. And people haven't focused on it because it's so hard to convert. We've been able to extract it without destroying it. So we can pull it off completely intact with this beautiful structure. And then we can break it down and really turn it into the precursors we want. We ran two experiments side by side and we added this single chemical and it was like magic. One turned to this black crud and the other one was this beautiful orange. And it's sort of a great moment in the lab when you do something and you, before even analyzing the result, just because you know your system, you know you've gotten something amazing. Most of what you use in your daily lives come from petroleum. Most of your clothes, the soap you use, um, plastics, textiles, uh, even some of the food you eat comes from petroleum. And so we can't just wean ourselves off of that by switching to electric cars. We really have to find a way to make new products. And if we make those products from plants, because plants, as they grow, they pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, once you reject carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere after you use it, you don't, you're not adding carbon dioxide and contributing to global warming, so it's much more environmentally friendly.